When you go shopping these days, you take it for granted that you can buy just about anything. But if you really think about it, the range of products available to us is pretty impressive. Foods from other countries that our grandparents would have seen as an expensive treat are now cheap enough to be part of our everyday shopping. Part of that is down to something called the single market, a new way of doing business that was set up by the European Union and got into full swing in 1993. Before the single market, we were all divided up into our own countries, each doing business in our own way. The single market brought all these different ways of working together to help goods and services move more freely around the European Union. To find out more, we're going to talk to Sir Stephen Wall from Business for New Europe. So Stephen, tell me what the single market is then. It means that we can sell our goods freely right across Europe, which we couldn't do 20 years ago. People can travel throughout Europe, not just on holiday, but to study and to work. They have freedom to set up in business anywhere in Europe. We have the freedom to provide our services everywhere, plumbing, estate agency, travel agents, banking and insurance, and money can flow freely. So investment comes to this country. And what kind of effect has it had on businesses and people in Europe? It means that across Europe we're all richer than we used to be. And for the consumer it's meant that goods are cheaper because there's a free market. And for businesses it means because they've got, instead of a market of 60 million people in the UK, they've got a market of 400 million people across Europe. So Europe is now one big marketplace and the European Parliament has helped to make sure that the movement of goods within this marketplace is as free as possible. Somewhere this used to be a problem is at country borders. Custom formalities and paperwork for lorries making deliveries to a different country could sometimes take days. So how have things changed? We spoke to Steve Ockenden, lorry driver for Fast Forward International, a company that delivers to destinations throughout Europe. Steve, what's it been like for you as a lorry driver since a single market came in? Well, now you just uh, go through Dover, say so you don't do customs so much. Sometimes you get spot checks, but now when you get to the, you just deliver straight to customers. Getting goods around quickly is something that's important to companies that use Fast Forward. So for Bill Hay, who's in charge of making sure deliveries get to their destination on time, the single market has been a great help. Can you describe to me the difference that it's made to your company from when the single market was introduced in 93? The major difference it's made to Fast Forward is it's helped us make more accurate costings and timings of our deliveries within Europe. Now with the borders coming down, vehicles don't have to stop on their journey to report to customs. They travel straight through to the point to any country they're going to within the EU. So that's all good. So I suppose it means you've got a lot more customers and more money coming in as well. Yes, there is that. It has, it has broadened our customer base but it has also increased competition within the transport companies in Europe. With borders coming down, haulers can now make a delivery within Europe, just the same as we're making a delivery within the UK. We're also up against haulers from other countries, such as Poland, where their driver's wages are a lot less than ours. So freedom of movement can affect businesses in different ways. For Fast Forward, it's meant increased competition and coming up against companies that can offer cheaper prices. But what about those who use Fast Forward? People like the big supermarkets. And how has it affected us as consumers? Now, we've been given the chance to speak to one of Tesco's top management, Ian Hutchins. So how does the EU legislation affect a business like Tesco? It affects almost every part of our operation, from where we're sourcing products to what we're putting on our food labels, from the services that we can offer, all the way through to the way that we work with our people. And not just here in the UK, we've got businesses in six EU member states now. How does this benefit the customer? Well, we think it's had huge benefits for customers. Choice is a good example. We offer probably a bigger choice of products now and better value than ever before. And a lot of that's thanks to the single market competition, there's more choice for customers, there are more people offering things for customers and that improves standards and quality. So far most people I've spoken to think that the single market is working well but not everybody agrees. I'm here with Lorraine Mullally from an organisation called Open Europe. Lorraine, what exactly do you do? 
Well, Open Europe is an organisation which campaigns for change in the way that the EU is run. So we think the EU could do a lot of what it does a lot better. So what's your view on the single market then? Well, the single market is obviously a good thing. We're talking about free trade between the member states of the European Union. That's good. But the problem is that being part of the single market means that the UK can't control its own trade policy. In other words, it can't negotiate its own trade agreement, for instance, with the United States or a country outside of the EU. Right. And why is this a problem? Well, it means that any country that's not in the EU that wants to sell its products to us here in the UK actually has to go through the EU bureaucracy. It has to pay high taxes on whatever it is it's exporting just to reach us here in the UK. So where's all the tax money going? Well, the tax money finds its way to Brussels and helps to fund the EU, and it also finds its way into higher food prices for the likes of you and me here in the UK. The single market has meant different things to different people. But whichever way you look at it, the single market has changed the way we do business in the European Union forever.